Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference here in Shamar Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined this morning by engineer Yusuf Al Balushi, who is the Vice President of Telecommunications Regulatory Authority of Oman. Engineer Al Balushi, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much, and uh, thanks for you for uh, to giving me this chance and this interview to highlight some of the WRC issue related to my uh, country. So please, let's uh, start, start talking about the uh, conference, WRC 19. This is not your first uh, WRC. I think you, the first one you attended here was in 2007. Um, and uh, that was in Geneva, of course, but prior to this. But uh, I just wanted to ask you, why is this particular uh, event important? It's once every four years, a lot of uh, concentration of uh, topics being discussed here. What are the most important for you? In my point of view, uh, that all the WRC conferences are important. But if you uh, concentrate on uh, or focus on the WRC 19. We are, this is in, in 2019, where uh, there are a very fast deployment of 5G networks worldwide. So uh, most of the regional group, they, they are looking for a new spectrum for 5G to serve their people with uh, better connectivity. As you are aware that 5G is, uh, is, will play a very important role in, in terms of investment in new technology, new applications, and will improve also the lot of uh, uh, applications in the country like smart cities, e-government, e-commerce, e-education, it will be very important. For us, uh, uh, WRC is very important this year, 2019, because we, our government they decided to have our own uh, satellite network, so we already uh, filed our network to ITU, and we will we fulfilled with the ITU uh, requirements, and we are in the in 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 the coordination process with different administrations. So uh, to be uh, that, that this will be very important for us to follow those uh, regulatory aspect of the satellite networks. So it will be really very very important for us. Can I ask you what does the satellites and uh, in fact telecommunications in general landscape look like uh, for the Sultanate of Oman? Uh, as, we, as I mentioned to you, now we decided to, ha to launch our uh, own satellite networks. We currently license two operators also, the, the, by, by, by beginning of this year, the third operator will uh, launch its services in, in the country. Uh, with, with, we are in a country where we, uh, with large area, as you are aware, Sultanate of Oman, and we facing a uh, lot of uh, terrain difficulties, country with a huge, uh, area and with lot of mountains and the uh, population is scattered in different with small houses so provisioning of telecom se sector is cost us too much in the country so we are now uh, targeting to uh, to reach our target for the broadband uh, services in the country by satellite at the same time one of the also our goal in WRC we supporting the new technology which called the high altitude platforms which is very important for us because we are, uh, as Oman country, we're suffering from the uh, climate change as in the world, but especially in Oman because we are uh, in the coast of the ocean, Indian Ocean where we suffer a lot, lot of cyclones. So we believe that the satellite uh, communication as well as the hubs and new technology will help us uh, so much to serve our people with different telecommunication services. That's great. Now, when uh, this conference finishes, uh, we're in uh, now essentially the run-up towards the end. What do you hope will have been achieved? What do you hope will be some of the major outcomes from this? As I mentioned to you, that 5G is uh, moving very fast in the world. So one of the important agenda items of the conference is 1.13. Uh, uh, we, uh, we are looking to, for extra spectrum, as I mentioned to you, that uh, 5G is the better connectivity. 5G is fast speed, uh, latency, so you need a uh, lot of spectrum. There will be big demand on that one with new applications. So, uh, but, but the problem with 1.30 is still discussion is running. And one of the difficulties we are facing, some countries, they are trying to impose some restrictions. And we believe those restrictions will limit the usage of spectrum in, 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 in the region and worldwide. So hopefully this uh, problem will be solved and we 
looking for the new spectrum for 5G, as well as we are, as I mentioned to you, that we are for our satellite communication, we are following also the regulatory matters of the satellite services. Hopefully, this will simplify our life in the future. Well, let's hope so, and uh, we wish you the very best of luck for the end of this conference and, and for the future as well. And thank you for joining us in the studio, Engineer Al-Balushi. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, and have a nice day. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.